because they're like, oh, we're going to make a cute little moose with a hat. And the Canadians are like, no, no, they're, they're car-destroying murder beasts. You don't want to. There was a there was a Reddit thread recently. Dear anyone of Reddit, what is the most dangerous animal in your country? And the Canadians were split between goose and moose. Because <laughs> you're more likely to run into a goose. But if you walk up to a moose, I have seen Japanese tourists in Banff, like, God bless them, but oh, holy geez. shit, they're like, oh, and they're like, I'm like, don't pet the fucking moose! <laughs> it will literally stop a car for that! Get away from the moose! Oh, but it's tame! Yeah, tame! Yeah. No! No! <laughs> because basically, Japan had two bombs dropped on it, and all the animals are mutated, and they're like, Oh yeah, panda, very cute. Yeah, little red panda, like this. Ah, cute, cute, cute. Whereas our bears are like, if you touch me, I'll your entire family. <laughs> Which, keep that in mind, because there's a metaphor I'm going to make later on, uh, based on a story about a bear. So, who wants cute moose, salt moose, flippy keychain from uh, One Piece? Five bucks. Five. Ten. Ten. You value it more than he does. I can think of two ways to use this sexually, because I am particularly imaginative. I don't know if you're more imaginative than I am in this particular domain. Don't answer the question. <laughs> ten going once. Ten going, I'm not listening to you! Partly because my hearing in this ear is shot, partly because I am not listening to you. <laughs> Sold for ten, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Feel free to applaud because all of this is going to the Friends Charity. Do you know what the Friends Charity thing is yet? I've got no Wi-Fi here. Oh, yeah. Surprise, this room is a dead zone. We can't get data. Can anybody get data? No. We've got data on this thing. Look it up. Yeah, look at this. It's being intermittent. Oh, I do. Yeah. It's, I walk, like, 20 feet that way. I'm like, H+. Do me a favor and look at the uh, charity on that. <coughs> Don't look up for and They can see it. Or do. Uh, I'm looking up right now. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, that sounds familiar. Best friend animal society. Focus on stopping and nearly four million pets and shelters all across Canada. We're saving puppies and kitties. Again. And possibly bunnies and snakes and and uh, what? Birds. Birds. Yes, possibly birds. Here's the thing, though. If you don't want a bird anymore, you just go like. <laughs> it can't survive on its own once it's been. I didn't it. say that it would survive. You I don't just want. said you don't need to put it in a shelter. <laughs> okay. So we're saving puppies and kittens. Uh, we have, we're going to auction these off later, I think. I'm not saying save your money. But we do have the Ortifest Aurora Guides signed by our special guest, Stephanie. Stephanie, is that right? Yep. Um, by Eric by Anila, and by all three of them. We also have a shirt signed by Stephanie, and another shirt signed by Anila. We also have a very special, uh, probably high value item. I'm not saying save your money, I'm saying bring your credit card out, um, because it rhymes with gigantic mudden Brome that's in the Braid Cafe. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Okay, um, let's auction off another piece. We've got Scott Dewey's print of Full Metal Alchemist. And that is a really pretty Gundam. So, uh, who will give me an offer on these 25. Two? 25 for these two beautiful pieces of art to save puppies with. You don't have 25 bucks, do you? <laughs> you want these, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Cry hard. <laughs> yes, this piece is... Um, so we have 25. Do we hear 30? 25 going once? 30. 35. 35. 45. 50. 50. I have nothing but time. You can keep trying if you want. 50 once, 50 twice, sold 50, and it's not true that all you have is patience. You also have too much money. Yes. <laughs> and a profoundly disturbed sexual imagination. Because I like the shirtless guy 
with the robot arm, the suit of armor, and the giant robot. Is there a common element? Yes, there is. It's his boner. <laughs> Please, I love this show. I need you to bid on this for the puppies. But I also know that all of you are going to make sexual connections to this item and... Okay, so after the last airbender, cute little chibi, Avatar Aang, and um... Mo Moko? Momo. Momo, Momo. thank you. Um, sitting on his head. Yeah, I really love the series, you can tell. Um, I also have a terrible memory. So, yes! <coughs> please, please don't hot glue Aang. 20? 25. 30. 45. You're gonna, you're gonna hot glue Momo. Okay. Thank <laughs> Fifty once. I'm like, dude, dude somebody who's not. I was like, somebody who's not gonna hot glue. Oh, man, down by the river. Fifty-five once. Fifty-five. I got sixty. <laughs> just, just two of them, just like, I'm gonna beat off on it! No! I'm gonna beat off on it! It's just like... <laughs> oh, I bought the bear there, but not this! So we're 60? Yep. 65. 65. 65 once. 65 once. Stop giving him money! Sold for 65! I just don't want to use my credit card yet. Okay. Yet. I'm okay with you sexualizing everything else on this table. <laughs> <laughs> Just not that. For the love of God, not that. He's like 112, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you understand why, sure, she looks 14, but she's actually 1,014. It's okay. That's how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> fucking creepy. Speaking of fucking creepy, okay, so 